Hello! I'm the bad mini painter. Um, and that's my name because I'm bad. So, my point uh, or my mission here is to show you how to get decent results while being bad. So if you're good, just leave a dislike and, and, and stop the video. So, Space Marines um, is a faction that I never really uh, spend any time on. It, it, it never really appealed to me. But um, the models in the Leviathan box are, are pretty gorgeous. So I decided to try to paint one up. And then four others. But uh, yeah. Um, and trying to decide what chapter I wanted to do was difficult. So I decided to do a bunch. And uh, this is me uh, tackling the Ultramarines. I'm uh, I'm starting out with the High Lord Blue uh, from the Army Painter, and it's it's a, a speed paint, uh, one of those speed paints that got a lot of flag for being able to be um, reactivated, so hard to paint over. Uh, I I really didn't have any issues using uh, any of the Army Painter speed paints, but I've seen other people have. So what my hand is blocking here is me using a Retributor Armor. Yeah, that's the name from uh, Citadel to do the gold trim and also miss and hit the, actually the shoulder armor. Well done. And then we go into some glossy black from uh, Vallejo uh, to, uh, to do all the joints. And then more fang. Apparently spelled with a D, I can see. Gotta correct that. Uh, more Fang uh, Brown um, for for the gun holster and uh, his uh, little tiny bags and uh, pouches and, and stuff. As you can see, the the uh, the speed paint um, when it when it's dried up. Well, now you can't see because the camera won't focus. But when it's uh, dried up, it 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 looks really good. Like highlighting and shading is pretty much done for me. So I think uh, the the Space Marines are absolutely excellent models for uh, for speed paints. Afterwards, it's it's time for the classic uh, lead belcher. We we gotta have some lead belcher. Um, it's it's pretty much my default. I think it's pretty much anyone's default for doing uh, base metal. I uh, use uh, Doom Death Black uh, from uh, two th uh, thin coats uh, for uh, for the gun, um, and I do that because I wanted to use another black than what I used for the joints so, um, on on the armor, just to have some variation and also it's it's a bit more matte, um, and I kind of like that on on the guns. A quick. Uh, Go with the uh, mummy ropes from uh, from Army Painter for the sigil. It's a good base color for uh, something like Aquax uh, Earth Shade if you want to do old paper. Then blood red from Scale 75. Just a dab of it. And then we can do some Aquax Earth Shade for uh, for the um, sigil, the paper uh, things hanging from the sigil, I guess. And also for the for the leather, it does a nice job on, on on shading that, as long as I don't throw on too much, which I kind of did. That's okay. We can clean up a bit. And then it's time to be super careful, adding some uh, demon red from uh, two thin coats to the eyes. I, normally I don't really bother with doing eyes, but I feel like it did a kind of big difference here. What do you think? Then it's uh, Stormhose Silver um, for the metal parts in the mask and uh, for um, you know, the What's it called? Rips? Ribbons? What's it called? Anywho. Storm of Silver. All over the place. 
Then I do scrag brown to highlight uh, the leather parts. And I do a bit too much and uh, then decide that since I... There you go. Since I fucked that up, I might as well go all in on my fuck up and the end result is actually... It's okay. It ends up looking uh, kind of good. Because I decided just to add some wear and tear kind of stripes and streaks. Uh, instead of being super precise with uh, with hitting the edges. Now, well, when, when you fuck up, make the most out of it. So, there you go. Slap, slap, slap. And then I go in with a, uh, what's it called? Null oil for the gun, and uh, the metal parts on his uh, on his jump pack. Focus. It's amazing that I am I'm, I'm four months in to doing this, and I still find it difficult to center things in the camera. As, as soon as I'm not like super attentive to where I'm holding the the, the model, I, I take it out of frame. Asian gray for highlighting uh, the gun, um, just making it. Uh, uh, look a bit uh, battle worn. And uh, demon red again for uh, for the sigil. It was uh, a bit too dark, so I tried to brighten it up just a bit, and I probably did a little too much. Uh, Seraphim Sepia for the uh, emblem, what's it called? Uh, for, for the gold parts. Just to add a tiny bit of shade. And pretty much done. So, this is the end result. It's about 20 minutes of work, maybe even a little less. But, um, I feel good about it. It's a, it's a decent job. I'm going to pat my own shoulder. Anywho, if you like this video, please do leave a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I try to be pretty active and upload once a week. And there's going to be uh, some Space Marine stuff coming up. So if you like that, then yeah, stick around. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions to stuff I should try to paint up. Uh, or methods I, I am overlooking. I will not do Slap Chop, it's boring. Okay, it's it's boring. But anything else I might be interested in. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you on the next upload. Bye.